living sarcoma. Almost all living sarcoma is over. Living sarcoma is children in the diaphysis, marrow tumor, and the thing is the peculiarities it will have in constitutional symptoms also. It may produce constitutional symptoms. It mimics the osteomyelitis. And the peculiarities, it not only sends metastasis to lungs, but also to the other bones. Not only to the lungs, but also other bones. So the peculiarity of the wing sarcoma are bone to bone secondaries mimicking the osteomyelitis. Bone to bone secondaries mimicking the osteomyelitis, tumor with constitutional symptoms, children. And highly sensitive to radiotherapy. E point Lala, you should have any tips. Yes? Yes? Ah, radiotherapy. Melts but triggers again. It melts like anything, but triggers in this same way. Now the wings are coma. 15 to 50. Femur, tibia, and flat bones. This is a specific here. Flat bones. Femur, tibia, and flat bone. Diabetes and marrow. Sheets of round cells. Monotonously arranged sheets. Where in the single way, all sheets will be like this. If you see it, it will become monotonously, monotonously boring. There is no design. Only sheets like Ramco fabric legs. Sheets of round cells, polyhedral cells, round cells. And sometimes there may be pseudo receipt formation, central necrosis followed by the cells. But however, the constitutional symptoms mimics the osteomyelitis and moreover, even though it produces newborn on the shaft of the diaphysis, many times it produces lytic area in the flat bones. The difference is, if sarcoma occurring in the long bones, is you know what is called in the long bones, it will produce onion peel appearance. The same living sarcoma, if in the flat bones like calcaneum, scapula, etc., it will produce lytic areas. In long bones, onion peel. In flat bones, lytic areas. So, high lytic in flat bone. And one more thing is bone to bone secondaries. Bone to bone secondaries. Children, mimics osteomyelitis, constitutional symptoms. The onion peel appearance of newborn in the diaphysis area, but bone to bone secondaries, lytic in flat bones, and one, and then what's called mimics the what's called onion peel appearance. All these are typical characters. The treatment is mostly chemotherapy. Even though radiotherapy is there, but it recurs again along with surgery. So even sarcoma read again, highly malignant tumor, 10 to 20 mainly in the femur long bone and tibia, one third occur in flat bones, usually in the pelvis and calcaneum. Diaphysis of the long bone is the most common. Periosteum elevated, subperiosteal new bone formation, often in layers, that is, wings, uh, that is onion peel appears. But in flat bones, it will be later. The tumor ruptures through the cortex early and enters the soft tissue. That is Ewing sarcoma. Left side. Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma. Yellow unit. What is the name? Histopathology. So the e e tumor comprises of sheets of quite. Seeds of quite uniform small cells. Under sheet lo kuchh ne sahi lente kuchh ne chusna na kabur In the same way, there will be sheets of quite uniform small cells resembling lymphocytes. Often the tumor cells surround a central area, forming a pseudo seed. If there is in the central area, if there is a narrow cell, and then there will be clear what is called. Neural element or crust element, and then cells are around it, it is receipt. But if there is no cell in the center, only degenerated part, and cells are there, that is called pseudo receipt. That will be then in the neurocrustal tumors. Receipt will be there in the central neural part, surrounded by the peripherally cells. 
here there is a necrotic area and then it is called pseudo rotis. Malevarna pseudo rotis is called pseudo rotis. Often the tumor cells around a central carrier area forming a pseudo rotis. See this one, most cases show necrosis at least focally, pink necrotic cells in the center and the high mitotic rate surrounding it. These solid tumor clusters are separated by fibrous bands. Solid tumor clusters separated by fibrous bands you can see. The tumor grows fast, fast, metastasized to lung, like astrosarcoma, metastasized to lung. However, it also produces bone to bone secondaries. Bone to bone secondaries. Some, some people will say bone to bone secondaries are not really bone to bone secondaries. It is multicentric cars. They think that the Ewing sarcoma has occurred simultaneously in the same places. Simultaneously in the same different places. May not be bone to bone secondary. That is a controversy. But for your level, remember bone to bone secondaries is a character of Ewing sarcoma along with fever, constitutional symptoms and then onion peel appearance. Bone to bone seconds are very common. See that one, most frequently asked question. Clinical features, presents with pain and swelling, often there is an associated fever and constitutional symptoms, confused with osteomyelitis, confused with osteomyelitis. Then radiological features are light lesion in the medulla is open of this because it is in the medulla and then cortical destruction, newborn formation, cortical destruction, this is what is called This is the cortical destruction, this is cortical destruction and then layer after layer, layer after newborn formation. See this original x-ray, there are layer after layer, layer after layer and that is what is called onion peel appearance. Here also you can see the layer after layer, onion peel appearance. So layer after layer, onion peel appearance. Atypical presentation. Sometimes what are the peculiar characters of Ewing sarcoma. It may be confused with osteomyelitis. Tumor may be located in the metaphysis, though it is diaphysis, atypical. Have a predominant soft tissue component with a little cortical destruction, so it mimics soft tissue sarcoma also. Sometimes predominant soft tissue may mimic a soft tissue sarcoma. In flat bones, primarily a lytic lesion. In the flat bones, there is no newborn formation. With hardly any newborn person, it is primarily a lytic lesion. Ewing sarcoma can be differentiated from the osteomyelitis et lamare. If both are confusing, how, how to make the confusion so, liquefied? Sequestrum. In osteomyelitis, sequestrum will not be there. Well defined cloaca and rather smooth periosteal reaction located in the metaphysis. Usually, Ewing sarcoma is in the diaphysis. This is in the metaphysis. Sequestra will not be there. Cloaca will not be there. If they are present, they are osteomyelitis. Treatment, highly radiosensitivity. Most quickly, queers buttricus. In most cases, distant metastasis has the control by the 60,000 rods. Control of metastasis by chemotherapy. Chemotherapy consists of vincristine, cyclophosphamide, adramase, etc. Prognosis is poor. So, 5 to 15, femur, tibia, flat bones, diaphysis bone, sheets of round cells monotonously, constitutional symptoms, mimics the gastromyelitis, lytic flat bones, bones to bone secondaries, onion peel appearance. Amputation, multi-drug therapy, chemotherapy. We will stop at this section.